Hey everybody, welcome back to Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. Anyway, um, so last time before I left I said I was gonna go explore the bottom part, but I changed my mind. I'm fickle. <laughs> We're gonna explore more of the floating garden today, because I feel like it. Yeah. Um, more fully, I realize that it's probably better to explore an area in full instead of leaving stuff half done because then I'll I'll just have to I'll probably just have to come back here anyway. So it doesn't make much sense to backtrack if we're already here, I guess. Unless if we had a reason to leave. And at this point since I have no idea what I'm doing with this game, um I don't have a reason to leave at this point, but I wish I had a reason to get on this platform sooner because then I wouldn't have to go all the way down and then all the way up. Look at him doing his little breakdancing pose. I will say that Soma's design is pretty cool. Like, it's cool and it's lame in a cool way, though. Like, it's trying so hard to be cool that it kind of circles around as lame. But it's so lame that it kind of circles back into being cool again, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I, I like it. Like, hold on, let me kill this Gorgon who is not actually a Gorgon. Oh, I can't go up this way. What? Uh, but, like... The, the gold trim on his on his on his on his jeans and whatnot. It's just you know, it's it's just so much. <laughs> uh it's just, you know, it's so it tries so hard to be cool. And it succeeds, sort of. <laughs> yep. So I haven't played since yesterday, so I'm a little bit I'm a little bit um out of practice, and man, that is really disorienting when that happens. Ah, god. Like, I see, what's happening is I'm trying to jump and then double jump, but sometimes I press the button during that screen transition, and I think it doesn't register during that. So, you know, I end up just kind of falling, and it's really disorienting. So, I don't remember how to get to the right room, so we're just gonna go to the left one. Because that one seems simple. Ah. Thankfully, although the stone is annoying, the cockatrices don't seem to do that much damage, so... We should be fine on that. Oh, these guys, though. Ah, if only I was facing the other way. Um, yeah, get out of here. Okay, there we go. Um... Wait, wasn't I just here? No, I wasn't. Okay. Um, hmm... I think I need to go down and then up a different one, which means going down and up another. Uh, man, this is probably the most confusing area to navigate so far, um, I would have to say. Which is weird, because the map, it's just four blocks. <laughs> so it doesn't seem like it would be that bad, but maybe I've just been spoiled by, you know, just having, uh, like, corridors up till this point. Okay. These imps are no annoying, so I'm going to get rid of them first. Um, I always hope to, it's, okay, so, alright, so we're in a new area now, but whenever I play a game like this, um, actually, the, one of the first examples I can think of is Pokemon, um, where, since I know that there is a chance that I can get a shiny with every encounter, I always kind of expect it a little bit, even though it almost never happens. It's the same in this game, where... I'm always expecting to get a soul from every enemy I kill, even though I know that the chances are much lower. Apparently, you get a higher chance of getting a soul once you have already gotten that enemy's soul. So, oh, Iron Plate. Do we already have that equipped? Yes. All right. Well, we can sell it later. Um, but I know that, like, it's not going to happen every time I kill something. That just... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Speak of the devil. Okay, that werewolf sounded cool, though. Creates a fountain and magical fire. It looks expensive, though. So let's... 28's a lot. So let's wait until we find an enemy to use it. But, oh, like... Oh, it's kind of... Wait, is it really only... Oh, okay, because it's an actual golem, not a wooden golem. Okay. Alright, I was wondering why it was doing so good few damage, but it's like a... Golem made a rock. Fire's not going to do shit to him. So when I find another enemy, I'll try it out again. Because it did look pretty effective. 
like multi hits like that are always super good in these types of games. But anyway, back to my point. I know it do it doesn't make sense to expect it every single time I run into any enemy because that's just like silly. Like of course you're not gonna run into a random rare drop every time you kill something, but since you know that there's a chance that it could happen, you kind of want it to happen every time, and you sort of expect it, uh, somewhat. Does that make sense? Am I the only one who does that? I I'm sure I'm not, but, you know. Okay, we already explored this whole room? Wow. This area is not that big. This room was not that big. Okay. And it looks like it was only... Okay, we loop from that top left one to this rightmost one. Okay, that's strange. Um, I although I assume that the reason why they have all these things floating isn't for it to make sense. Okay. Ow! Oh God! You jerk! Eat my f werewolf fire! I didn't even get close enough to hit. Okay. Oh, you gotta get in really close to use this though. Oh man! Did you see that? That had to do like a lot of damage. Okay. Alright, so the werewolf is awesome, but it's a little bit too dangerous to be using when I'm at, like, what, 60 health? <laughs> so we're gonna stick to sniping with knives for the time being. I know that I do have a meat that I could use, um, but I'm really stingy with these types of things, so we're gonna hold off on that for the time being. Doop, doop, doop. Okay. Okay. So, it looks like a lot of these rooms are kind of copies of each other. Because we got the... Oh, God, Mandacore. Ow! Ooh, okay. I do not want to die here. We're using that meat. Wait. Did that meat actually heal, heal me? I don't know what it did. Oh, the melon's a full heal, though. Okay. Well, we wasted one. That's not the biggest deal. Yeah. Come here, you jerk. Manticore! <laughs> Transforms into a magical beast that rushes at enemies. That sounds awesome. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, so it uses 30... Uh, probably a second. Uh, but yeah, that sounds metal as... Uh, <laughs> that sounds really metal. <laughs> okay, transforming into a Manticore. That's, that's awesome. Okay, um, let's see. Another room. Okay, so we're actually probably going around into a circle until we can find that tiny room up in the middle, which is probably where there's, like, a boss or something important. Let's... Okay, it was the R, R button. Oh! <laughs> that was awesome! Okay, we're doing that again. Transforms into a demon that rushes at enemies? Um... Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's... That werewolf's getting owned. That is sick! Oh, man. <laughs> this game's awesome. Uh, at least we're getting a lot of money. <laughs> you know, it, I mean, granted, these abilities eat magic like nothing else. But still, like... Did you just see that? That was awesome. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, it okay. There's another thing. The the charge up is very. It's a long charge up, but ow, and we can very easily be sniped during it. Ow! Hey, jerk! Knock that off. Oh, even the charge up eats magic, though. Crap. Okay. Well, that's something to keep in mind at the very least. Ah, oh, but. What should I what should I do? The Manticore or the Devil? Oh, they take the same amount of Uh, let's go with the Manticore for for now. They're both sick. <laughs> oh man. This game just got about like I was already having fun with this game. Granted, but that was just that was amazing. Are we going to a different area now? Clock Tower. Oh god. Clock Tower seems scary. I don't know if I want to go that way yet. Uh, especially since we haven't finished. But there might be a... Oh! Evil guy! Um... Uh, are you gonna... Soma, are you just gonna ask him if he's straight up evil? Soma. Soma, why?
the term <laughs> you've been so you've had one conversation with him <laughs> Um, the power to turn into a freaking demon. <laughs> uh, dude, what happened to your eye? Okay. What was that all about? Indeed. Indeed, what was that all about? This is why you don't ask people whether they're evil or not. Uh, clock towers in Castlevania are scary. Uh, I don't know if I want to be here right now. Um, oh, those are spikes. Spikes are bad. Um, yeah, I do. I don't think I can go much farther here because there's spikes in the rotation of that cog. Oh, a harpy. Um, okay, get back here. Uh, come on. Ow. Okay, but yeah, so. I don't think I'm supposed to do much here because uh, that those spike the cog is leading me into the spikes and I don't have a way to get through those yet. And besides, like, like I haven't even gotten close to finishing exploring all of these um, all of these rooms. So okay, okay. Let's actually try to fight this guy legitimately. Um, if okay. Okay, hold on. Yeah, okay, this guy's scary. <laughs> I think I was incredibly lucky to get his soul, so I'm just gonna take... I'm just gonna... Wait. This is not the way I came in. Huh, okay, well that was weird. Um, anyway, it's a new area, so we might as well ex ex uh, explore it. Okay. Okay. Um. Alright, let's see where this takes me. Okay, we're back here, and this takes me over there. <gasps> Oh, okay, so it kind of makes sense, because now I'm here. All right. Um, okay, so now that we're back in this room, let's just explore it a little bit more. I think I'm kind of wrapping my head around how this floating garden works, but I'm not quite sure yet, so I'm going to need to be careful exploring this place. Um, oh, thank Christ, another, <laughs> another save point. I needed this healing, and also I don't want to lose those, those powers. Let's... Okay, actually... I think the devil, yeah, because transforms into a magical beast and transform into a demon. I think the manticore might go parallel with the um, ground, like might follow the ground, but I think the devil, okay, no, the devil's the same. All right, uh, well, okay, so basically what I was testing was I wanted to know whether the devil would kind of just like fly in a straight line and the manticore would follow the slope of the ground, but it seems like both follow... S super skeleton. Okay. Oh! Kick during a double jump by pressing down and A. Wait. Oh, that's just a... It's a ground stomp. Oh, and awesome! That was That's just an innate ability. I don't have to set it. Okay, that's cool. Um. Yeah, okay. So let's try this room. Ooh, that looks scary. Ow! Oh no, the evil darkness! Okay, so we can't explore those rooms just yet. Alright, that's fine. Um, what I should do now, though, is try to explore the other sets of rooms in this area. The Which I think the only way I can do that is by going back to the... Oh, uh, God, that, that issue again. Um, I think the only way I can do that is by... Okay, get out of here. The only way I think I can do that is by... Uh, where's the... Is by going back to the to the original part of the garden and going through the other door, if that makes sense. So, ow. So many knives, jeez. Ah. 